Okay guys, so in this video what I'm going to do is go over the uh, DOM cross-site scripting um, labs that ba basically looks for the location search, the window location search, and we try and export that. So, classic case, actually that's an old one, um, but I copy over the lab into, um, into the browser. Start by off by looking at what features are actually on the on the page, um, and obviously uh, down here is the one that really points out. So I'll have a quick look. And again, I do a window with the idea of doing a window location, and I can already see this JavaScript um, actually available uh, to be used, and it's actually using the URL search parameter. Um, is part of that call, but it's trying to look for a variable called store ID. Um, so, obviously I'll copy that, but um, it then tries to open up and selects that store ID within that HTML node. So, with that in mind, um, what I'm going to do is then try and use that store ID in as a parameter. It's using the URL base uh, method. And I'm just going to slap in some some basic parameters. And given the fact, yeah. So given the fact that it was actually um, uh, trying to select, you can actually see the string value that I put in to the par parameter. It's actually been picked up. So um, what I can try and do, um, actually, uh, what I'll try and do is throw a HTML error using um, uh, an on error function. Um, so first of all, I'll actually go to repeat. Um, and instead of this um, character, I'm going to cross it out and place in uh, the actual image node. Um, and then obviously just do a control U to encode the parameter, get that, copy that over. And there's a dupe there, and remove that. Um, that didn't quite work, but with the idea it should have. So just have a quick look here. So it's looking for the store ID, uses it in the parameter. And then that store variable yeah, so that's store ID, and then it does it actually opens up the select node with the store ID, um, and obviously with the options. So it's probably HTML specific if this is exploitable. So if I just pop back, yeah, I can I don't actually see it presented in here, and I wonder because. It's not actually HTML, it should be HTML encoded values, but obviously you don't see it in the option selected. So something's not quite right. I think it's between around that area. Uh, oh, and you can see here it's actually done select. So let's probably put that into the URL to close the existing node. Not that we really care about the node that's already there. We just want to call this HTML. Let's get back to the URL itself and try and call that image source with the error, error function. And that's and that's all it is. That seems to work. Very easy one. But yeah, what I do, look for the window location um, uh, amongst many things you'll see in the other videos, but try and find out the logic there to call that HTML on error JavaScript. Nice and easy one. Back to the, uh, back to the uh, other areas.